welcome back to the channel guys today it's a leg day it's cold it's snowy it's gray I'm excited to take you guys through this one because i've really switched around my leg days a good bit in the last few weeks or at least i switched them up a few weeks ago uh, to prioritize calves and also reincorporate the deadlift into my leg days i used to always deadlift uh, leg sessions or if I was doing two leg days a week, I do heavy squats. Uh, you know, let's say Monday, and then maybe my second leg day was Thursday or Friday. I'd come back and I do heavy deadlifts. And I did that for a while. Now, I wasn't doing the greatest form, so I didn't see probably as good of results as I could have. Uh, but today, the focus is full range of motion, good form, establishing a good mind muscle connection across the board for all exercises. So, whatever, hey, calves quads or hamstrings, whatever the exercise is, trying to engage that muscle as good as possible. The rest of it's really just going ham. So it's, man, gonna hurt a little bit, but that's what training's for. Other than that, drinking a little bit of, uh, switched up the pre-workout, still doing the pump squared from raw, but the energy and the focus is coming from raw's Davage pre-workout, so it's Chris Bumstead's line of pre. This one's good. I think it's got a little bit of alanine in it too. It's usually my face starts itching just when I get to the gym. As always, links below for the supplements I take. It saves you guys, I think, 15%. And then also gives me a nice commission, which goes back and really goes into these videos. So I appreciate you guys shopping, supporting the channel. Let's go crush this workout. Like I said, starting out the session with calves, we did four sets seated, another four sets standing. And with these, the first set of each exercise, so the first set of the seated, first set of the standing, I picked this one up when I was training down in Florida. I'll try to get a complete stretch on my calf from the start. So for the first 10 seconds, I just let the weight sit on my calf and slowly contract up fully. And then for the first rep, squeeze another 10, 20% out of it at the top after it's already 100% you know, contracted. Come back down, control, full stretch, squeeze it back up and another, you know, extra under 20, under 10% squeeze at the top. So I do that for 10. And then usually about 10 or so is where I'm not able to do that as effectively. So then the next 10, what I try to do is as best as I can, because at that point my calves are burning pretty good, not rush it but go through with a complete range of motion, full stretch, and as close to 100% I can get on the contraction coming up. Go through 10 of those almost uh, standard reps, normal pace, nothing, nothing really slowed, but just a regular controlled squeeze up, release down. And uh, yeah, by the time I get to 20, it's pretty much toast on it. But I like that formula because within one set, I'm able to do two different kinds of Two different types of tempo and then i don't get any pain down to my achilles like i used to because i used to just kind of rush the reps from the jump but that that slowing it down letting it fully stretch and squeezing out of the bottom versus trying to explode out of the bottom has really helped me just have less pain and then get a better cap point.
just taking quick minutes of warm up. Not hitting any like particular amount of sets or reps, but just enough to feel the weight move up. Usually about three plates is my working for sets of around 10. But the thing I've really been focused on this one is getting good depth and still keeping the tension up in my quads. I have a tendency when my legs get tired, I won't keep the same form. My back won't be tight against the pad and I'll start to allow my glutes to dominate a good portion of the exercise. And I don't want that. I'm like, I'm cool on glutes. I really want to use the exercise to focus on quads, particularly my quad sweep. And I feel that area the most getting down below 90 while the tension stays up in my quad. Florida, and it really makes a difference in how I feel in my hamstring. So I'm in a stretch position, my feet are straight. As soon as I start to curl up, at the same time I'm pushing my pelvis straight down into the pad, almost like I'm doing a hip thrust. And that just helps isolate my hamstring a little better. And when I get to the top, it kind of take a half second to just pause, mentally really flex my hamstring, you know, just like you with a bicep, and then come back down, controlled, repeating it from the bottom. each one really tried to make it as difficult as, as I could on the muscle, on the muscle. So for the hack squats, really trying to keep the tension on my quads, exhaust those, the hamstring cut, trying to make each rep as difficult as I can on my hamstring. If you get the gist. These like, you know, at least this leg that kind of drains me slowly. I get to the end, like, get the good challenge, see what I got left. Well, I'll do a warm up for two, and then see what I can hit for working sets around eight to 10 reps. Still take about two minutes, maybe just over. Last time, you know, just gotta channel what I got left.
some post-workout cardio to do 20 minutes on the stairs. Aside from that, my hand says it's a pretty good session. I'm gonna get this guy added to the app. If you wanna follow any of the workouts, any of my other programs, go ahead and check that out. It's linked in the description too. First week is free. If you guys wanna try it, give it a shot. It's a good push-pull program in there. I've been getting some good feedback on. And I'm in the process of updating all of them and adding new two programs for those of you who are in there each week. Man. Other than that, the work continues. Waiting for things to come just a little bit further before I give you guys a proper update. I would say merchandise, but at this point, it's a little bit bigger than that. So all that is it's coming together, finally. So that's a big reason I moved back to Ohio. I noticed you guys miss a few of you in the beach, beach videos, comment section, you know, you know why do you move back? This is this, did you not like Florida? I did enjoy Florida, met some great people down there. You know, felt like kind of like out of my, my little bubble that you can be in in a smaller town like some of the cities in Ohio. But for what I want to accomplish right now, it's a lot of the boring stuff. Like right now I'm enjoying a lot of the little things like improving the app, making it a lot better experience. You guys are changing there. So that means, you know, tweaking workouts, making the interface cleaner, adding more workouts in there. And the other side of things, what I'm gonna do with what I'm launching this year, it's just it's a lot of little details, a lot of boring work. None of it's really that sexy. It's just you know, sitting, getting legal stuff sorted out. It's just the things I like to work on in a simplified environment. You know, Ohio has always given that to me. You know, I'm still lucky to work, be able to work with great guys like Zach to make these videos dope. Of course, Mike is still editing. So it's all part of the, the plan. Just sometimes you gotta feel like remove myself from some things in order to do the bigger things, in order to make space for the bigger things. You feel me? So, there goes a headphone, but that's my little talk. That's enough of that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's a leg session. I don't know. I'm just working.